going to start by rolling the shoulders. Deep breaths into your nose, out your mouth. Big circles. I move the whole way through that joint. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it the opposite way. Again, big circles all around. Four, three, two, and one. Drop the head. Big circle all around your front, and then bring it back the opposite direction. All around, all the way. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, hands on hips, feet shoulder apart. Again, a little circle around and back. Move them through the hips. Let's do a stand down. And big circle over, big circle back. And go one more each direction. Okay, from there, bring your feet together, bend the knees, shoulders back, little circle around, and back. And just a little circle around the knee joints. And we're going to one more direction. Okay. From there, right onto the toe. And a little circle. Now back. Just move your ankle joint as much as we can now. And we'll do one more direction. And to the top. Uh, we're going to do one more distraction. Okay, so let's start. We're going to just do a few little shoulder stretch. One, one arm across the body, just hook in. So make sure you're not on your elbows to either side and just gently pull your shoulder towards yourself or pull your hand towards yourself. And there you go, inhale, exhale, see if you can come a little bit closer. And once more, inhale. Exhale, so you can come a little bit closer. Three, two, one. Let it go. Shake it out. Let's go to the opposite side. Again, just bring in as close as you can. If you can, inhale, exhale, bring a little bit closer. And yeah, one more, inhale, exhale, bring a little closer if you can. Four, three, two, one, let it go, shake it out. So we're gonna bring one arm behind the head, pushing down on the elbow, just pushing down our back there.
Now, if you can, you're going to bring your other hand up and try and touch them behind your back. Don't worry if you can't, just reach them towards each other if you can't. We're just going to hold it there. Remember, don't worry if you can't get them together. If you can, try and bring them a little closer. Four, three, two, and one. Let it go, opposite side. So push that elbow down. Just hold it there. And if you can, bring it around again. See if you can hold hands. You might find you can on one side, can't on the other. But one is better than the other. For me, it's my better hand. It's easier for me to do. Four, three, two, one, let it go. Okay, let's bring our hands out in front of us. So slight bend in the arms and we're going to put our shoulder blades together and push them forward. Together and forward. Our body is staying still. Back and forward. So back and forward. The movement is just through our shoulder blades, squeeze them together and back. Squeeze them together and back. So there shouldn't really be any movement in our hands. We're not pulling our hands or our elbows back. We're trying to bring our shoulders to touch. And we're going to do four, three, two, one. From there, bring our hands up. We're going to pull them down and push up. Again, try to keep the arms as little movement as possible. Down towards and back up, down and back up. And the movement here is just to our shoulder blades. We lift up, push down, lift up, push down. Four, three, Two, uh, one. Let it go. Shake it out. Okay. From there, we're going to bring our hands up to shoulder height and we're going to rotate both palms towards the ceiling. And now we're going to bring them the opposite way and try to rotate them so the hands are both facing the ceiling again. And uh, we rotate around. And we rotate around. All around. All the way back. Four, three, two, and one. Let them shake them out a little bit. We're going to try and go one way with one arm and one with the other. So let's say we rotate, come towards the face, so palms facing up, and then we rotate our toe away from the face. Palms facing up, so our shoulders go in the opposite direction now, and we're going to change and alternate. So we're going to rotate one way, the other one's rotating the other way. So we're going to do that for four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Shake it up. Okay, one last one on the shoulders, give them a little shake, just let them move around a little bit. We're going to come up again, up to shoulder height, and we're just going to draw little circles. The first thing we want to do when we bring our hands up is we bring our shoulders back and down and our hands up shoulder height. We're going to keep them up, tucked back down in our back pockets and just little circles. Now we're going to bring the hands away. We're 
We're going to close and open them. And our last one, we're going to hold them up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let it down. Shake it out. Okay, let's bring it down to the mat. We're going to go on a sideline position, resting our head on our bottom hand. We're going to straight legs, fully straighten them out. Make sure to straight line the whole way through the body. Abs are pulled in, and we're going to lift up. And back down. Exhale up. Inhale up. Breathe through each one. Where we can and back. Keeping the rest of the body still. Four, three, two, and one. Lower down and bring the knee across the opposite leg. And then we're going to lift the bottom leg and just lift up as high as you can. Inside the foot's coming towards the ceiling. Exhale up, inhale lower. Now we're going to go four, three, two, and one. Let it down. Bring that back, that leg back on top. We're going to lift it again. This time we're going to draw a little circle with our heel without rocking back or forth. So if you find you're rocking, make the circle smaller. Around. Really slow and controlled here. We're going to change direction. Two more. And we're going to bring it back down. Now we're going to hop over onto the opposite side. So again. Line flat, supporting our head, nice straight line through the body, abs nice and tight, and we're going to lift up and back down. Exhale up, inhale lower. Rest body as still as possible, just moving through our hip here. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to break down and across again. Bottom leg now it lifts up and back down. So we're going to go four, three, two, and one. Again, down, bring that leg back up on top. Now we're going to lift it up and draw a little circle. 
keeping our core nice tight, keeping our abs nice and tight, keep ourselves stable while we do this. We're not rocking back and forth. Okay, bring it the opposite direction. Uh, one more. Uh, bring it down. Okay, let's bring it over into the box position. So we have got a straight line from our shoulder to our wrist and our knee to our hip. And from there, let's roll our shoulders back and go forward. Three roll around and back. Four, three, two, and one. From there, let's drop the head, tuck the hip, push back up towards the ceiling. All the way back up. Imagine there's a string in the center of your back, pull yourself up, bring it back down, and look up. So four, three, two, uh, one last one. Back from there, let's bring ourselves down to our forearms. All right, onto our elbows. Bring our hands up on your head if you can. And we're just going to sit back and forward. So sit back. And forward. Open up the back of the shoulders there. Use around the shoulder blades. You want to make it a little bit harder, you can walk your elbows further. Not harder, but get more of a stretch into it. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. From there, we're going to sit up. We're going to tuck our toes underneath our feet and sit back on them. So we're just going to stretch out our feet a little bit. Just sit back as far as is comfortable for you. So we don't have to sit really far back, but if you can, just kind of get a good stretch into the toes. Just rock forward and back. Yeah, you right under it. Two. Where do you go back, the more intense stretch should be on the foot. We're just kind of gently coming back and forth, opening up a little bit. Uh, and forward. You might find it's quite intense on the foot. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it back to the box position. You sense the heat moving around a bit. Look at your toesies. From there, let's drop our chest to the floor. And the other side of the body, you're just going to push up. Just look up towards the ceiling. 
We're just coming as high as comfortable here. And we're going to lower back down. We're going to keep our forehead in the mat now. We're going to bring our hands out wide like a T shape. Thumbs toward the ceiling. I'm going to lift up as high as we can and back down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. Forward side in contact with the mat. We're just using our shoulders here. Four, three, two, and one. Let them down. We're going to bring them right out in front of us. So Hands are in front of us again, thumbs to the ceiling, and you're going to lift up, keeping your forehead into the mat, and back down. As high as you can. Four. Three, two, and one, and then down. Now bring them into kind of a Y shape, so slightly angled again, thumbs are at the ceiling, and we lift up and back down. Down forward, safe in contact with the mat. We're just using your shoulder muscles. So four, three, two, and one. Let go. So move shoulders around a bit there. We're going to stay face onto the mat. We've got one more thing we're going to do here. And we're going to bring our hands out in front of us, lift them just up off the ground, and you're going to go a semicircle back to your side and back up. Move in the hallway, keep the arms out straight where you can. For four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring it down. Now, from there, we're going to rest our hands like. Earth our head on our hands. We're going to straighten out our leg and we're going to push our heel up towards the ceiling. But you're going to use your glute to lift your heel. So squeeze up, straight leg, up towards the ceiling and back down. Hello. Inhale, lower. Your knee shouldn't bend here. Glute is what's lifting you. Four, three, two, and one. On to the opposite side. Again, straighten out the leg. Here goes towards the ceiling, but we're using our glute to lift it up. Squeeze and lower. Four, three, two, and one. From there, going back to the first leg, 
Lift the knees slightly up so our glutes engage. I'm going to pull our heel in towards our butt and come in. So you're lifting your quad, your upper leg slightly off. Ground, pull in, squeeze. Should we feel this in the back of the leg? We're trying to keep it engaged the whole time. But we don't want it resting on the floor. All right, upper four, three, two, and one. Lower it down, up to the side now, we're gonna lift up. So lift up first, we have the leg up. We're gonna bend, heel in towards your bum, squeezing the muscle of the back of the leg. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down, let it go. We're gonna grab, walk to your first foot, bring the heel in towards the bum, just pull in. Do a little stretch in the front of the leg. Put it as close to your, your bum as you can. Let it go in three, two, one. And let's go. Soft the opposite side. Again, pull in. You know, I'll look four, three. Two, and uh, one, let it go. Okay, let's bring it back up into the box position. We're gonna put, make sure we put it abs up in, so it's coming your belly button up to your spine, then you go one out, forward, one leg forward, pause, and swap it over. Sure we're keeping our abs engaged for this one. Try not to rotate too much. You know, that can be hard sometimes. Trying to keep yourself as square as possible as we change. Breathe through each one. Again, keep those abs engaged as much as we can. On our next one, you're gonna hold it out in that position. And keep it square as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Opposite side now, again. Now we keep that position, hold tight. And using our abs to keep our balance, using our glute to keep our leg up. Four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Okay, from there. Let's step one leg back, onto the toe, I'm just going to rock back 
and forth. So open up our calf muscle a little bit. Work back and forward. Four, three, two, and one. Bring me in, off the side, and back, and forward. And open up that calf muscle. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back. I'm going to sit back onto the heels, pull the arms forward. If you can, you can pull your fingers into the mat, pull that stretch on a little bit more. From there, walk hands over to one side. Bring it back to center. All right, to the other side. Back to center. I'm going to bring it back up to that box position. Now we're going to slide one leg forward. Just turn our knee or, or sorry, our ankle or toe as much to the opposite hand as we can. Slide the back leg back and just sit down into our pigeon stretch. So first, just go as far as come for you. It doesn't matter how far your toe has come. If you can, from there, come on to the forearms. And also again, if you have one full do so, we're going to walk out for your palm or, or forward to the floor. So just go to every version is going for view. You want to feel a light stretch, you don't want to feel really intense. From there, let's bring ourselves back up to the forearms. And back up onto the palm of the hands. So lift up and we're back to our box position. So we're going to go off side now, so slide forward if you can. Turn your toes as much as you can to the offside. And we'll slide that leg back and we're onto the palm of the hands. Again, if you feel comfortable to do so, let's come down onto the forearms. You might also find one side is tighter than the other. That's completely normal as well. For me, it is my left. It tends to be more tight. From there, if you can, we'll walk a little bit further, but we're forward to the mat. You hold there for four, three, two, and one. Let's bring it back up onto the forearms and slowly come up out of it. Back up onto the palms of the hands. From there, tuck so behind and lift up and we're back to our box position. 
We're going to come up onto knees. And bring one leg forward, one leg back. We're going to squeeze our glute from behind, keeping our upper body upright, abs nice and tight again. And we're just going to lean forward into that stretch. Stopping where you feel that first area will bind, first little bit of tension. We're not forcing anything here. From there, can you dip a little bit further? Now we're going to take an inhale and exhale, sit back onto the heels, point your toe towards the ceiling if you can. If you need to bend the knees, so what you do, you can also point your toe towards the floor. It could be a little bit less intense in the stretch. We're going to take another inhale. Exhale, bring it forward, back into that position. Lean and down into it. Again, just dropping our hips is what's comfortable for us. Inhale, exhale, come back. Sitting on a hamstring stretch again. Now from there, we're going to come up. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to pivot our back leg back, walk the opposite leg out. Should we over here a little bit? So walk out and stretch on the inside of our legs. If you can, you can rotate your toe towards ceiling, it can make it a little bit more intense. Just what is comfortable for you. We're just going to sit in that stretch. Make sure we're upright as well. Keep it like that for four, three, two, and uh, one, bring it back. Okay, let's swap to the opposite leg. And move forward, move back. Squeeze and just lift. Lower down into that stretch. Everybody's comfortable with you. Again, if you can drop a little bit further, do. If you can't, don't worry. And there we're going to inhale, exhale, so you can sit back onto your heel, toe to the ceiling. And inhale, exhale, come forward again. Again, can you drop a little bit lower if you can't, don't worry. And again, we're going to inhale, exhale, see if you can come a little bit further back. Now we're going to inhale, exhale, come back up. Okay, from there now, I'm going to shimmy that back leg back again. So, rotate it back, walk the leg out. Just as comfortable for you, so you feel a nice little stretch here. And then if you want, you can rotate it up towards the ceiling. Only if it's comfortable to do so. Hold there for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. I'm going to stand up. So we're going to interlock our fingers behind our back. Lift up as high as you can. So your chest forward, keep our head up.
From there, we're going to interlock the fingers, push as far apart as we can, drop our head. Now we're going to lift right up towards the ceiling, push our hands up towards the ceiling. Bringing our hands out to one side. Back to center. Out to the opposite side. Back to center. Let it go. And you're done, guys. Well done.